Hey guys, good one, my back. I'm Rick. Eric. I'm Calvin. We are here with Fyrian. Aaron's feeling a little under the weather, but he'll catch up on his own and report back next time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Last time. Last we, time. We learned a lot about a whole set of characters that went on a tier, ten year adventure. Yep. And we I saw feel like a little the left last out. Evening of it. I don't really care too much yet. Uh, maybe I will. It don't, I think we're not supposed we're really, to. You're not meant to. Uh, yeah, you're we're not mirroring to. the main character. Because Furin doesn't really care too much. She's Did actually it. trying to figure She's out. She's confused. Why <laughs> she should care? Yeah. <laughs> like her, her heart seemed to break. Okay. At, at the hero's grave, and mm, now yeah. humanity is her purview of study. Yes. Yep. And uh, specifically, she is being pointed towards taking on an apprentice, Fern. Mm-hmm. And apparently, mage apprentices don't last too long, so we'll see if that actually. Well, they're squishy. They're right? squishy. Typically, in in every media, squishy. where where D four hit points, yo. Yeah, one D four hit points at level one. Uh, no armor proficiencies. Mm -hmm. uh, low agility. Mm -hmm. High intelligence, but that doesn't count for much when your brain is on the floor. Yeah, that's right. And you think, and her intelligence can't be that high because she keeps falling for the mimic. It's true. Or she just it, she likes the sensation. Her her <laughs> investigation and perception are low. <laughs> she's never felt more alive than when she's close to death. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just like warm and yeah, slowly chewed in half by a yeah. piece of furniture. That, you guys sound like you're trying to trick someone into going one of the mimic hunters. <laughs> no, that's great. Trust me. <laughs> it's like a snipe hunt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check out episode two. Okay, well, I'm starting to get a feeling of what this show is going to be like now. I don't know if this one is necessarily uh, evocative of what the other ones are going to be like, but like she has all these memories of this uh, of people, but because she's so long lived, she doesn't really necessarily realize why those memories are important until they start coming back up. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Sure. If she has ADHD and no concept of time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... By the time it comes back around, it's too late. We've talked about this on the Donkagonk before. Like, think about how infuriating it must have been for Anakin Skywalker to hear Yoda be like, just learn to give up everything that you like. Because Yoda's 900. He's had... He, people come and go in his life, it's like nothing, you know? But when you're 20, <laughs> what you care about right now is the most important thing. So I imagine it must be difficult and frustrating to try to learn patience from an elf because they have the time to waste sure like if you want to spend 15 years learning a skill go ahead but that's like i get like five of those in a lifetime yeah it's like the hobbins with the council of the treants or whatever yeah right yeah the ants yeah it's like you, you guys need to speed this up a we little just finished saying <laughs> good, good morning, morning. <laughs> it's night time dead. already <laughs> oh mo don't be hasty yeah, that's uh, that's got to be... I mean, it, it does seem like Furin, she did say, like, it would seem that my time isn't my own anymore. Like, she does recognize that. Yeah. But, but yeah. No, I mean, this story's been told with vampires and mm -hmm. elves and highlanders and yeah, all kinds of other things. Mm -hmm. of yeah. Just, like, what does it mean to be immortal and mm -hmm. what's life? Like, what value does a life have? Yeah. Or... Um, the things that you value as well can be different depending on just how much time you spend with them. But then you have to, you know, how much, like, there's the thing, is, there's, like, sunk cost fallacy, right? Fearin might never, like, might just now at this point in her life be understanding what the sunk cost fallacy might be. But it may be, but it's also, is it a fallacy for her if she never dies? Like, it's never well, lost time. There's, sure, there's yeah. no... There's no fallacy for her because mm -hmm. she can just... She's not wasting time. Yeah, she can yeah. just complete what she was doing before. But that devalues then, how you spend your time, and that's why I think she has these, that that disconnect with people. Sure. And why she needs, or not needs, but wants to learn yeah. why they feel the way they do. In the past, things. she, you yeah. know, she wouldn't think twice about, like, taking years to find that flower. Yeah. If I'm... I'm frolicking in a meadow because I, I probably have never seen and will never see such beautiful flowers ever again. But Fearon might be like, I'll probably see this again. Yeah. Odds are I will. 
Yeah. Not that big of a deal. Or oh, I'll, those jer- I'll learn a spell 100 well, years yeah. from now that I can make one of these whenever I want. Yeah, yeah but, it's yeah. like with the meteor shower. Mm-hmm. She's like, well, it looks terrible here. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, this might be. This is probably a once in a lifetime event for all yeah. of us. Yeah, I, I imagine when she says like, at yeah, most twice. Just only take a few short years. It's kind of like us saying like, it's gonna take a couple of days. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, but if it's a couple of days, it just depends on what it is. Sure. If like when you were a tickled, kid. a couple of days is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's a lot of tickling. Like when you were a kid, it's like, can I go over to my friend's house? It's yeah. like, no, maybe later. Like, how later? I don't know, in a couple of days. Yep. It's like, oh, it's an eternity. I remember that my mom was bringing home, I asked her to rent a, an SNES game. I think it might have been, what would it have been? Anyway, I was pretty young. I can't remember what game it was, but I remember. One of my brother, when is she going to get home? He's like, in an hour. I'm like, how yeah, long's an hour? He's like, count to 60, 60 times. And I stood at the door, and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> she got home in like 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember doing it, and how much value I put on every second. I'm like, I can't wait to that game. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, because like now, if her interactions and her moments mean so much more, yeah, like she will experience much more loss, mm-hmm. because she'll care. Yeah, about those sure. Things. So, like, is this a blessing or a curse for her? Well, I think she's realizing that it could be a curse. Or maybe that's, like, the final stage of this new understanding that she's getting. Is like, before she had the apathy, you know, before she had a, uh, a hobby, you know. She mm-hmm. was just spending days existing. She wasn't... She's got to do something. Yeah. She wasn't spending her time doing anything. She was just in time and now she's like well it's not my experiences that are fleeting it's theirs and if I am to bestow value on these relationships then I need to also you know feel the the fleeting nature of their lives and give respect to them Mm -hmm. because they they deserve it right especially if she's like a parent now yeah it's like now her time takes on a very different meaning Mm -hmm. yeah it's like I, I, she's trying to prepare this, this sorcerer, this wizard. I don't know if I should be envious or not because I, I like the idea of like any passing interest, you could spend the time and master it. Just now, hey, it's gonna it's gonna take me ten years to master. It's like, yeah. Okay, I got ten years. I'm not yeah. doing anything else. And if I'm truly immortal, I you know, it's an envious thing. But obviously. It's going to change how you feel about certain stuff. Well, yeah. Sure. It's like, what if you knew you were guaranteed to outlive your child? Sure. Like, like she will be now. Yeah. No, I get you. It's like, uh, it's like the doctor. Like, the doctor takes on companions, not necessarily to help the companions. And that's nice when that happens. But it's really to let him be able to vicariously enjoy things again. Because he's yeah. been around so long, Seeing it he through, doesn't enjoy it. Yeah. A younger yeah. person's eyes. Yeah, yeah. it's like I don't go out there and go sledding. Uh-huh. But my daughter's excited. Sure. And that makes me excited again. I do. Uh, uh, I love this. Yeah. But also, I do it with Carmen, who grew up in Florida. She never I saw know. snow until... Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know when I got over snow, but I got over snow far before Jancy moved here. But when she moved here... It became magical again. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, I get you. Himmel, every time we meet him, <laughs> took 18 hours to choose a pose, and that's yeah. the one he went with. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, that statue's going to be there forever. So uh, you want to get the pose as right. As long as I it's maintained, it. yeah. Yeah. I, I, I also like the idea of, like, yeah, if you just come across a magical spell, you might as well learn it. Because you never know when it's going to come in use. Well, sure. In, in her case, like, there's no downside to spending as much time as it takes mm-hmm. to learn something like that. Yeah. Because it will always, like, there will never not be a time, or I should say, there inevitably will be a time in which that is useful. Mm-hmm. Right? As long as she doesn't have, like, a limit of how many she can hold or whatever. So, yeah. Sure. And it seems like she's just... I mean, she can she, live forever. She can remember forever. She can. She's up to warm tea and making sweet things sour. Like she must have a lot of stuff. De-rusting specifically and de-rushing statues. grapes. Yes, sweet grapes sour. <laughs> Why would you do that? But there's gonna come a time when you need it. <laughs> hey, if, if you want to sabotage this evil yeah. wine lord's 
crop. You know? It would suck to be immortal but have a bad memory. It would... Like, I would want to try to remember it as much as I could, but... Like, our, bra- our brains are, you know... I imagine the immortal... It might be maybe. a blessing. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It might be the only way that you could survive. Yeah. As, as being immortal. Maybe. But I don't know. Like, I'd hate to spend 20 years learning the intricacies of, of a certain discipline and then move on to the next one and forget all that stuff. You know? Sure. Like, if you wanted to retain it. Yeah. Like, the memories of, like, having friends and losing them and yeah. having loves and losing them and stuff, like, that would get I mean, taxing. Yeah. I mean, we talk about, in other shows, we've talked about... Like, we just watched that movie yesterday about the importance of history Mm -hmm. and how it's not necessarily about remembering what people did in the past, but trying to avoid the the mistakes people make in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Because we only live so long in these generational things. Like, it's the same reason. It's like when you say, oh, every generation of teenagers thinks that they invented rebellion. rebellion." (laughs) It's like, no, that's just, that's how we work in these generational cycles. Like, you grow to a certain extent. And then it's time to learn the things your parents don't want you to know about. So you rebel, and then you eventually go back, and you make this little circle. But it tends to happen, these little, like, 20-year generational gaps. But what would happen for someone that lives 4,000 years? In one of my D&D campaigns, I had elves that would tattoo themselves with their memories. And that's Mm -hmm. all they could remember. Yeah. So you have so much room on your body. Yeah. And you have to overwrite at some point. That'd be pretty good. I've always liked Dumbledore's pensive from Harry Potter, where you can mm. like take a memory out. It's you can still remember it, but you can go in and like relive it. Yeah. And I guess if you're if, you're, if you are an elf, then you don't have to worry about the time it would take to relive a memory to remember it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But then you would you'd have the concern of your entire life just being a clip show of your previous experiences. True. You know? I mean, hey, I mean, I rewatched Seinfeld over and over. You know, sure. It might be good if I have if I have a good clip show. That means might be good. I need a good editor. <laughs> it was tough to learn. I mean, we didn't really get too far into it, but Fern, as a young girl, it looked like her community, her town, her city was destroyed, ransacked, and she was going to fling herself from a cliff. Yep. Like she was just going to kill herself because she had yeah. nothing. A life so. Short feels that way. And then you have Fearin with a life so long, you know? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's just, I'm glad that he found her then. (laughs) And I'm glad that he remembered his his hero friend that what he would do versus what the drunk priest would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun seeing, like, Himmel's influence on the world after his death. Like, in that way, he can also attain some type of immortality if people remember him, right? Sure. As they say, you die twice, when you actually die and when the last person remembers you. Well, that's what Heiter was saying, too. It's like, you know, if I didn't honor his memory, if I didn't live the way he would want me to live, mm-hmm. like, what am I doing Yeah. to remember him and make the world better? Mm-hmm. I think well, Himmel will be okay for a while because he's in Furin's memories and I think she's probably going to go for a bit. Yeah, yeah I think so. She also said, like, at the end of that 10 years, she didn't really know anything about him. But she remembered, like, the flowers and stuff. So, mm-hmm. like, it's all relative, right? Sure. Yeah. And now there's another of her old party members gone. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, Heiter. Mm-hmm. Pour one out for Heiter. Mm-hmm. Right on his grave. <laughs> Pour two out. <laughs> All right, well, I have a feeling this is going to be a very introspective show as we go on, so maybe these discussions, uh, maybe they'll get even more introspective. We'll Mm. see, maybe in the next couple. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Furin. If you want to use the spell of time manipulation, then go ahead into the future. You can go beyond right now at blindwave.com and see up to the next four episodes right now. I can design spells. That's 